The High Credit Skills Lagos International TVET Conference 2019 had a successful conclusion in Lagos, Nigeria. The program is expected to support and exhibit young entrepreneurs across Nigeria. The conference was themed Evolving Economies, Unlocking the Skills Potential in Nigeria's Accelerator for Rapid Industrialization and Sustainable Peace and Security. The event gave young, skilled Nigerians the opportunity to also go on with cash prices as well as working tools by their sponsors. <music> When we talk about skills, barbing, or tailoring, or carpentry, the future of work will be determined by the quality of the skills you have. Don't forget this. There are no menial jobs, only menial mindset. about barbing or tailoring or carpentry the future of work will be determined by the quality of the skills you have how you can negotiate how you can communicate how you can work in teams how you can I, I, how you can create how you can i create right how you can conceive an idea and bring it to life if there's anything you should forget don't forget this there are no menial jobs only yeah. menial mindset. Hey, I say that again. There are excellent. no menial jobs, only menial mindset. So when that thing hits me, that was my paradigm shift. So far, I'm actually doing my postgraduate in Suka. Uh, so um, after I left the school to uh, my postgraduate, I started uh, leaving uh, shoemaking, started giving me money to, uh, to run my daily, uh, daily expenditure and actually living. So um, the experience so far has been amazing. Uh, shoemaking has almost been taking my, uh, most of my time. Apart from my art, this time I'm trying to introduce um, art into, into shoemaking, trying as much as possible to be creative and all that into shoemaking. So it has actually been helping me. In fact, that's actually what I'm using to train myself in the, in the university now. After the training, gave me clarity on what I want to do in the industry, not just um, collecting jobs and making money, no. Gave me clarity on what I want to do in the industry, which is restoring the the value attached to Nigeria Carpenters. project that tries to solve um, a lot of socio-economic problems that we have in Nigeria, focusing on 
trying to rebrand skills and make people perceive skills in a different way. So acquiring skill education should not be a, uh, a second option. It should be a choice and it should be encouraged. So um, I create it's more or less an enabler because they try to work with government agencies and also private um, sectors where, like Bosch, where we come in to support them. Um, we at Bosch, we are supporting predominantly in the um, construction segment and here we support with our tools, we also support with training and also some safety tips. So one of the major highlights um, in terms of what we have observed is that there is so much change that you can make with only little effort. So we've realized that a lot of people who come for this competition hardly make use of power tools before now. Speaking from the power tools point of view, and with our technologies that are invented for life and can be used in different applications, it reduces them a lot of manual work, a lot of uh, labor, labor hours as well. So when we train them, most of them, even if they are not um, emerging as winners, have a personal commitment that they are going to buy these tools and keep in their workshops. The first position for the plumbing category goes to Shima Solomon! I like him! He is a winner! Woo! Very emotional there! So this two is for the first prize. <laughs> That's for the second prize. And then the third prize gets a... A round of applause for them, please. A round of applause for them. Awesome. It wasn't hectic, but it was so, so tough because I feel pain all, <laughs> I feel pain all around my body. I am so tired, but the job went well. I thought I wasn't going to win, but then when I saw people, others, because I was the last person to do to complete my project, but when I saw others' project, I knew that I should win because I did the exact um, exact um, drawing we were given to do. I really put enough effort in this competition for me to win. You already, something tells me that I'm gonna win. The one thing in plumbing is that plumbing is a kind of job that I so much like plumbing, being plumbing works. I inherited this thing from my dad. My dad is a plumber. So he taught me everything about plumbing work. I started plumbing work when I was eight. 